With its gratifying and charming 2023 GV60 crossover, the aspirational Genesis luxury brand is taking on the premium EV market. The Genesis GV60 may have the same platform as Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Kia EV6, but it drives entirely differently. It's actually among the top electric vehicles that are now for sale. Most people would concur that the Genesis brand has been doing fairly well lately. Just a couple of years after the company's formation in 2015, the Korean brand put the sports sedan establishment on notice with the superb G70 and has since followed it up with a raft of other impressive vehicles, including the current generation G80 and G90, as well as the GV70 SUV and the GV80 SUV. Will the upcoming Genesis GV60 outclass other EVs in the performance game? Let's find out. But before we continue, if you're new to the channel, welcome. This is Cars in Reach. And if you've not already taken the action, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And let's get you going with some of the best car content you can think of. Now let's head back to what we have for you today. Although every single Genesis model now on the market is impressive, the GV60 may be the brand's pinnacle model. Hyundai's electric global module platform, eGMP, which features a flat floor and allows two powertrain combinations in Australia, serves as the foundation for the GV60. The GV60 AWB, which is at the base of the range, has two electric motors, one at each axle that produces 99 horsepower and 214 horsepower at the rear axle resulting in a combined 314 horsepower and 446 pound-feet of torque. The identical 77.4 kilowatt battery pack located on the floor powers both GV60 versions. The standard AWD has a claimed WLTP range of 470 kilometers, while the performance AWD has a WLTP range of 466 kilometers. The GV60 uses the same battery as that in the Ionic 5 and EV6, so it shares all of the same technologies. It has a 400 or 800 volt multi-rapid charging system, which increases the 400 volt provided by a charger to 800 volts. Using a 350 kilowatt charger, the battery can be charged from 10% to 80% in just 18 minutes. The GV60 also has a battery conditioning option that can help preheat the battery to improve performance in cold environments. This feature helps to maintain the battery at the ideal temperature. The GV60 also provides vehicle to load features via the power outlet under the back seat and the socket can be plugged into the charging port. It significantly increases the adaptability of the electric SUV and provides 3.6 kilowatts of power which is more than the typical home's power source. Of course, the GV60 is much more than just a powertrain. The first is appearance. No matter whether you love it or detest it, there's no doubt that the GV60 is a remarkable vehicle to look at. Genesis describes its current design philosophy as athletic elegance. The front end is very brash thanks to the distinctive crest grille, clamshell bonnet, and LED quad lights found up front. Although the GV60's exterior is quite stunning, the interior of the SUV's cabin is really what stands out. According to Genesis, the interior makes use of a Korean architectural aesthetic that emphasizes the beauty of white space. While that seems like marketing talk, the inside undoubtedly is a great place to spend time and has a somewhat spaceship-like vibe to it. When you slide into the driver's seat, a two-spoke leather-covered metal button steering wheel greets you. If you cast your eyes to the left, you see the door panel striking design, which features circular handles, a circular controller for the digital mirrors, and a lot of soft-touch sway. The GV60 also boasts a third screen with haptic feedback for controlling climate control, a 12.3-inch infotainment screen, and a 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster. Then comes the Crystal Sphere. When the GV60 is turned on, the Crystal Sphere rotates around and displays a shift-by-wire selector. When the car is switched off, the crystal sphere will appear as a glass ball housing a sophisticated array of ambient lights. Yeah, it's a bit of a gimmick, but it looks good. 
serves its purpose and prevents you from accidentally picking the wrong gear while using the infotainment screen's rotary controller. There are a ton of other thoughtful details throughout the cabin. Features include a heated steering wheel, an outstanding head-up display, an 18-way power driver seat with memory, driver's seat massage features, heated and ventilated front seats, a 17-speaker Bang & Olufsen sound system with digital radio, and a wireless phone charger. We anticipated that the GV60 would drive just like its two more affordable siblings, given that it shared a platform and battery with the Ionic 5 and EV6. That couldn't be further from the truth. The GV60 Performance AWD is the fastest of the three models and all of the available versions, with the exception of the monstrous EV6 GT. The vehicle accelerates to 100 km per hour in 4 seconds when the boost mode is engaged, pinning your head back and leaving you grinning from ear to ear. The GV60 will spin up its wheels if you do a forceful launch when the traction and stability control systems are disengaged, producing thick black lines along the road and spewing plumes of tyre smoke into the air. Not what you might anticipate from a Genesis luxury SUV with an all-wheel drive and all-electric propulsion. Making a turn follows the same pattern. The GV60's inside front wheel spins up easily when the traction and stability control systems are turned off, whereas the Ionic 5 and EV6 cannot. Prices for the GV60 AWD start at $79,389, while the GV6 Performance AWD is available from $84,519. Genesis's first entirely new electric vehicle checks off practically all the boxes. From sheer speed to spectacular exterior and interior design, charging speeds, adaptability, and a luxurious and comfortable ride. What are your thoughts about the 2023 Genesis GV60? Let us know in the comments. Also, don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel as well as turn on the notification bell button. See you in the next video.